today it is the big day, Newcastle United versus Tottenham Hotspur. You probably think where I am, I've just been to Manchester for the weekend for the boys' uh, birthday. Honestly, what a sick weekend. If you follow like, my socials and Slap and whatnot, you want to see my weekend. But a massive game today. We've got, obviously got Spurs at home, obviously, since the start of the new year. And that's what the main topic is, obviously. It's, it's massive for the football club and whatnot. You've seen all my videos throughout the week, but this is the one you've been waiting for, the vlog. Obviously, you see it outside the stadium. You see me speaking about it and whatnot. But now, we're going to be witnessing it for the first time, obviously. I'm on the stadium and, and everyone who's been involved in the club all getting out today is, um, is fully owners and whatnot. And, it's going to be a sick day with my boys. If you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean the world if you could do so. I honestly can't wait for a day. When we're calling this at half ten, I'm like, in like sort of like next to Yorkshire sort of way. Like we're trying to look like Leeds now. Get in, get ready and get sorted. And I'll see you all in James the Park soon. How are you, the fucking lads? Right with these boys out here. Our prediction of the day, boys. Uh, I think it's going to be 3-2 Newcastle. 3-2 Newcastle. Hatrick for Wilson. It's going to be a 2-1 Newcastle. Callum Wilson 2, Kian 1. There you go. 2-0 Newcastle. 2-0. Nice. Anyways, we'll watch your thoughts on the two. Oh, my lads. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't... You... Come on! Right lads, outside the stadium with a legend which is Adam P boys. Obviously he's coming at the stadium like this. Mate, what's your prediction mate? 3-1 in Newcastle, I'm very confident. I said that before, we could take him, I was that confident. But really? Like, so after that Wolves game, you were still confident that we were going to win 3-1 today? In Nashville, I think we're benefiting Castle quite a bit. We've got Wilson coming back, yeah, the Sells yeah. back, Shelby back. We've got some good players back now, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, Tottenham's quite an inconsistent team, so Newcastle needs to get back to them today, but I mean, I don't care what the result is today. Oh, I'm being just, back with the war flag, being back with all the stuff, it's going to be class. I've got to see my prediction, I'll go 1-1, but I'm not... I'm not too fussed about the results, it's more about getting this club back to where it belongs, but I'll leave Adam to say YouTube link in the description, boys. Now yeah, we're the fuck. Right, boys, prediction today. Uh, we're going to win 4-2. 4-2. Uh, I'm seeing 2-1 Newcastle. 2-1. 3-1. We'll 2-1 Newcastle, that's going to win. 3-1, come on, you maggot! Come on, mad, come on. <laughs> we're the richest club in the fucking world, come on! <laughs> Yeah, we are, boys. First game. Oh, what a good sight. Right, lads, we're sitting on Michael here. Yeah. What's your prediction, mate? 2 0, Wilson. 2 0. Who's going to score? Wilson. Wilson, both of them. So, what's your thoughts on the takeover, mate? What? What's your thoughts on the takeover? It's class. It's class. Oh. Maybe we'll get the club out of it. Fucking class. I've ever been on.
go, Ali boys! Turn top and over there. I'm not going to record it for the sake of the safety and whatever people. Honestly, the game's been stopped. All the players went back to the tunnel. I'm praying to God whoever's over there is safe and, and whatnot because football's for the fans. And if someone's over there and is not going to return home to a football game, it's the, it, it's, it's going to be horrible. So I'm praying for whoever's over there is army because honestly, this is it's disgusting to witness. It really is. And the fact is, the Premier League and the referees have got the, got the cheek to not bring the medical team over straight away. We can see police stewards, we can see Jamal ourselves, and um, I'll be when I go up to the stewards at the scene. We don't know what's going to happen. We're back on the way to David Park. Always gonna be there, he's always gonna score. So simple we've looked. I know obviously we've had a V-start, but it's not like we've just had a V-start, they've had a V-start as well. We've looked so slow and sloppy. He shouldn't be on the pitch. He got tested positive for COVID and negative and he's an other I think. Fuck the shit. Oh my fucking god, man. I'm gonna win that, Richie. Oh my god, he fucking hasn't. Well, 
Come on! Come on! That should go in that. Go on, Joe, lad. Brad! Brad! He's giving yellow cover diving. Yellow fucking card for diving. Was that there? Yo, Gasson! 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 Look at that. Look at fucking that. He's getting sent off. Him. Yeah, he's sent off. John Shelby's sent off. Second hello. John Shelby has been sent off. Fucking disgrace. Home a little cut. I've always said it's fucking shit. And yet again, proves me point. John Shelby's been sent off. The most blatant red cord I've ever seen. If you're a yellow card, do you do that, no? We want pussy out, we want pussy out! We want pussy out, we want pussy out! Oh my god, an old goal! An old goal! Yes! An old goal, 3-2, three, 3-2! Two, three, two. How I ever die with an old goal? Oh my god, I didn't expect it! I'm letting you out, I'm missing it! How are boys? Come on! Full time at St James Park, Newcastle 2, Spurs 3. But um, before I speak about anything in the game, I want to say big up to the doctors and whatnot who were staying at St James' Park and hopefully save that person's life who, who, who obviously had, a, had the game had to get stopped because obviously what happened, I'm, I'm praying that, he's, that the person died it and um, that we can, that we can, that, that's not going to be the main force of the game, hopefully, so hopefully the person's all all right. On the game, yet again, we're conceding too many goals, and that's the fact. The facts are, yes, we got an own goal at the end, but the game was pretty much done. I thought we were really poor today. Um, we scored in the first two minutes, and honestly, it was the best two minutes of my life. It really was, but it happens in football when you defend like that, and the way you, in the way you, you get on as a, as a team defensively, and the structure of the team, it's just not good enough. It, it's good enough, it really isn't. The way we defended in the in in. In the, in the first half towards the end it, it was so poor we were just giving them too much space and whatnot and it was it, it was it was just simply not good enough it really wasn't an, not an issue where we really need to improve on and that's somewhere where the owners have to see and hopefully Steve Bruce can be gone after the, um, after a day after hopefully that is a thousand game with the manager and he'll be gone from Newcastle United and hopefully we can have someone else in for Crystal Palace next week I hope you all appreciate the um, Appreciate the channel, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Big game today. Obviously, it was disappointing, but the atmosphere at the start really was the, was the real show, and that's what we really came for here. So, appreciate all the support, boys. We'll see you all for the next vlog, which will be Chelsea at home, and I'll see the videos for Palace next week. I'll see you all next one, boys.